Francisco 49er Reuben Foster leaving the courthouse this morning after making his first court appearance on a domestic violence charge. A new development this morning. Prosecutors are asking for a delay. This after the linebacker's former girlfriend recanted her claim that Foster had injured her. ABC 7 News reporter Matt Keller is live at the Santa Clara County Court in San Jose. Matt. Hi, Kristen. Well, prosecutors formally dismiss a misdemeanor charge against Reuben Foster for ammunition that was in his possession at his Las Gatas home. But the big news coming out this morning here from the courtroom is that the district attorney's office now has new evidence in their hands. Today was supposed to be a hearing for Reuben Foster, but instead of entering a plea in Santa Clara County Court, the 49ers linebacker heard from prosecutors something that could change the course of his case. The people asked for additional time to investigate newly discovered information, which insofar as it bears on this case ending with a just result. They are continuing to review the videotape that was provided to them and I am uh, willing to abide by their request and put this matter over to May 8th at 9 to set. That video was provided to prosecutors by the alleged victim's attorney, Stephanie Ricard, seen here in court this morning. She did not talk to the media today, but in a statement released last week, Ricard says Foster's former girlfriend initially lied to police about the incident and suffered her injuries as a result of a fight with another woman. Ricard claims there is video documentation of that fight. The statement says Foster's former girlfriend was extremely upset and told him if he broke up with her, she would, quote, trash his career. After today's hearing, prosecutors explained why an alleged victim changing her story isn't necessarily a deal breaker for domestic violence cases. Sadly, too often, victims of domestic violence, for a host of reasons, choose not to cooperate with the process that holds their abuser accountable. Notwithstanding that, if the evidence independent of a victim in a domestic violence case is compelling, it's the prosecution's duty to seek justice. Foster's next hearing is scheduled for May 8th. The 49ers have previously stated that they're going to wait until this case ends before deciding anything on Foster.